Okay, so now I'm just gonna let, I see. Hey guys, we just got out of church. Um, Morgan ran inside to Walmart to get some oil for the car because it's a little low. And then we are heading to Stillwater for a little bit to visit his grandma. Um, and then we're gonna come home and it's Super Bowl Sunday, so we're gonna make some food and watch the game. We'll see you guys in a bit. So we stopped to get a Pepsi at the on -Q here in Stillwater. And look what they're giving out. They're giving out these straws when you buy a soda and they've got little like gnome hangers on them kind of like wine tags or whatever but for your straws so we got three of them because we had to buy a couple of bottles of soda for Morgan's dad too so we got this little guy and this little guy and this one look how cute so, so they're pretty cute. We finally made it home and it feels so good because I got to take off my church spanks. I am all in my comfy clothes and ready to watch this game. Then here in about 15-20 minutes I'm going to go in the kitchen and start making some super bowl food. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I finished the food. Here's what we've got. We've got homemade Cuban sandwiches, sausage balls. These are like the fluffiest ones I ever made, I think. Um, Sun-dried tomato dip we got at the, the mix for at the boat sport and travel show with sun chips and Funyun flavored wavy lays. We've never tried those, but they sounded interesting. And then from our friends, um, some real Wisconsin cheese curds. They are sweet bourbon bacon chipotle cheese curds. I snuck one. They're really good. Thanks, Tom and Lisa. We're going to dig in. Good morning, guys. So that was a fun game last night. We didn't really have anybody in it so we weren't particularly rooting for either team we did like to give my little brother some heck and kind of make fun of him because he was an, he is an Eagles fan so you know but really we didn't care who won but it was a really close game and so that made it a lot of fun to watch and the food was really good so that was great um, I slept really hard because it was a long busy day and so did Arlo and he woke up just smiling can you say hi people hi people he woke up with a smile on his face this morning which is nice a lot of times after a big busy day like that he'll wake up in a crabby mood but not today so right now Arlo is gonna watch a little YouTube while I put together a Valentine's Day themed play-doh activity for him so let's do it okay guys real quick before we get started on this play-doh activity i just want to let you know if you guys like these videos and want to see more i put them out three times a week on monday wednesdays and fridays so if you wouldn't mind subscribing clicking the notification bell and hitting the like button all those things really help me out with the youtube algorithm 
and I'm trying to build this channel up and get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So I've got a long ways to go and any help you can give me, I would really appreciate. Okay, let's put this together. So first thing I need to do is wipe down Arlo's table. He eats off of it every day as well as does all his little play activities there and coloring. So it gets pretty messy. So I need to wipe it down so we don't get anything icky in the Play-Doh. Okay, so let me show you what I've done so far. I have taken um, some materials from various things that I pulled together. These went to like a counting activity board that Arlo has. I pulled out some of these. I have a whole bunch of these foam, little foam shapes. And I pulled all the hearts out, the purple hearts, and put in there. We've got some pipe cleaners. Got the, this thing of buttons that are like different shades of pink and red. And then some purple feathers and I put all of those things in uh, this little wooden container. Um, can I just say that I love that Melissa and Doug packages a lot of their stuff in these little wooden containers because when we get them those toys I always can find a way to reuse the wooden boxes that they come in and then I put in some we've got pink play-doh and red play-doh so I'm just gonna put that on his table right here and next I'm gonna dig out some toys from his play kitchen for him to use when I when we bought a whole set of like dishes and stuff to go with his play ki kitchen for Christmas it came with a lot of stuff that's actually really good for play-doh so I'm gonna pull that out now okay, so here's all the play kitchen toys <laughs> I tr usually try to put them in here obviously pretty neatly but if you have kids you know how long that lasts So what I'm looking for is this. There's a heart shape cookie cutter I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out this little rolling pin. How perfect is it that it's red for our activity? And then let's see, let's do the red knife. Is there anything else we might want here? Be a little red spoon. Red, pink. red and pink, yeah. Play doh. Okay. So now I'm just going to add these things to it. And you see, he's already over here trying to get Yay. in it. So we are going to start playing. Are you ready to play, Arlo? <gasps> Buttons. Buttons. All right. Will Mama open the Play-Doh for you? Okay, here's the red Play-Doh. What can we do with that, do you think? What if we use the rolling pin on it? Wow. 
I'm just gonna put a red button. Like and subscribe. Bye. Making a heart. Do you want to decorate your heart? You could put buttons or feathers. That's what these are called. These are feathers. Can you say feather? Look. Maybe put a feather in your heart. I love it. So beautiful. Heart. Heart, yes. Okay, so now yes. I'm just gonna let, yeah. I see. Look, Mom. Oh, you made an L with the pipe cleaner. So now I'm just gonna let Arlo play with his little kit and discover all the things he can do with it and I'm gonna go edit this video. We'll see you guys later.